Hey guys, it's me, Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. This is... Where am I? This this thing of putting out two videos a week this is a little bit exhausting. Um, okay, I am here in my solo player world. That's where I am. Um, I have been busy. We, we have... I haven't done anything off camera, which is good. We, we did our house challenge last week. And then I spent a whole lot of time on Craftworks and uh, and and did some stuff over there. Did that beautiful bridge over there, but so I don't know if I managed to show this. I think I've got these shaders almost worked out. Um, this building with the shaders on looks really really cool. You know, I look. I, it trust me. It looks good. Right? <laughs> I got distracted already. Already! I can't believe it! Um, uh, so... Look, let's go over here. Remember back a million episodes ago, I have these two areas, right? I have this area over here, which I started and didn't finish. And then I have this area over here, which I didn't start and didn't finish. And I feel like you, know, you go to all the trouble of building this thing and making it all look pretty. I didn't, never did an interior for it. I've never done anything further over here. I started work over there and that area is starting to look really nice. But I really should have given this the, the what, the, the care? That it deserves. So how about I spend an episode doing something down here? Look at these perverts over here watching me sleep. Hey, you know the best thing about this update guys is I don't have to worry about you anymore. It's easy to take you out and oh I've, quick, quick, quick run 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 run. Where do you hear those arrows go? Beautiful. It's still easy. Um, but I don't have to, I don't have to be all like, where's my village? Where's the thing going? Like I can, I can just, I could just put a shield on them and not worry about it so much. So much better with a bow than I am with a sword. Oh, he says and then misses. All right, look at this. Got all the stuff. What did we get? Ominous bottle, which one? Bad Omen 5, that's the heavy one. Ooh, have to do something with that. All right, let me get back to this and then show you the idea that I think I might have. And I am back. Okay, I have gathered together some stuff and I am just about ready to go on this, I think. Um, so I've got, like, I've got, you know, the usual, we've got some diorite and some iron and then there's some, you know, dirt and blah, 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 all this, all this stuff. Lots of leaves, a couple of iron bars there, we've got some full of junk sort of stuff and there's all our flowers that we collected out there. So, um, we also got the iron farm just up over there, so we've got plenty of stuff to be able to do this. I think the first thing is that... We want to stop doing this design. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. We're going to make this area look a little bit more natural, I think. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of this. So what I'm picturing is for this one over here to be sort of a... Um, let me just make sure I've got the yeah, idea of the silk one. Okay. Um, for this one here to be more like a natural garden sort of looking place. And then the other one over the other side to be a little bit more structural. Um, we might leave those in place as they come down next to the walkway there. I think they look fine. Um... Yeah, they actually look really good and they belong there, so I'm glad I didn't destroy them. Uh, this little thing can stay for now. That it's I thought this was sort of like a little 
you know, seating sort of area and things like that, that that you would have a look out over the water there. Um, but what I'm thinking is we sort of build out these um, like circular garden areas and make make all of this into garden, right? So we have like here we would have a sort of boot coming out and I'm just roughly placing blocks, but sort of like a, a, a roundish sort of looking thing here and have them very, have them very set out sort of beautifully and things like that. Very set out, very beautifully. Good. Um, and, you know, another, another one sort of here, there'll be a nice big round one there. Um, and then maybe another, we can maybe have another sort of seat along here or something, another little one of those sorts of things there. Um, so this is me just sort of, <laughs> I nearly said riffing. I don't think I've ever been riffing. Even when I play my guitar, I'm not riffing. Um, me sort of working out roughly what I'm going to do here, but, but lots of circular designs near the water, lots of, lots of paths and seats and things, and maybe something larger here so we'll have a a bigger sort of garden that's gonna gonna come out and around and and be more this is gonna look great when i head up into the into the sky to see how perfectly i've made these circles um and then you know some more up here i i think i think this is what i want so we want to fill this area with with sort of gardens and things and then have little bits of path that sort of bleed through and, and trees and things like that. So that's this one over here is going to be filled with these. We'll just, just put another one over here and see sort of space-wise what we've, what we've done. So let's have a look at this mess. Okay, that'll do. That, that sort of thing. I, I think there'll be more regimented and more sort of placed in spot but but that gives an idea of the sort of thing we're going for maybe even um, maybe even having one up on this level or maybe this level comes down a little bit then over on this side over here wait I had I feel like I had um, that I had some wool in one of the aha I did look at this so um, then over on this one over this side, this side here we do something a little bit more um, sort of ornamental in a garden. So maybe we build a big um, something. What's my idea here? Yeah, so so this one being more, more sort of built up. So you'd have, let's say, um, and I'll need to free cam just to have a look at this shape and everything. Okay, so let's say we pick a spot in the middle where we're going to do a big, a big thing, another big sort of garden um, here. These perfect circles I'm creating, they're beautiful. Okay, so that's a really big one there. And then we'll have like, we can have some sort of... Um, some sort of paths that come off that have sort of gardens that that sort of come around like this. This shows you nothing. It, it's great. Um, and heading down this way more. Um, so there may be another one. I, I'm just, as I say, I'm just placing the the shape, just trying to get an idea of no, what I was actually doing was harping on like a fool. <laughs> so I have made my way up onto the top of the palace here so that I can show you what my, the plan is when I actually do something with the plan and have a plan. <laughs> so let's have a look and see what, we, what we've done. Now, as you can see below, as you can see down here, <laughs> Um, by the path here that I am standing on top of the palace and I have created these two spots with more accuracy. I've done circles where circles should be 
and I've done a patterny sort of thing where a patterny sort of thing should be. Um, this gives me a much better idea of what I was carrying on about there. So the orange bits are going to be gardens. Uh, yeah, the, these are more in place. So this is what I do, right? I just throw down wool or dirt. Or something. What am I doing with this? I might make this one less. Sorry, I'm distracted. I throw down wool and stuff. And and then, oh, dearie me, sorry. And then, and then I go through and I make it cleaner. I make it, I make it more precise. So I measure out the things and I put the circles down and I make sure they all look like circles and things like that. And then we get to the plan. Look, rather than going on about circles and wool, how about I head into a time lapse and show you what I've done? Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Well, that was quite an experience for me. I haven't done anything like this before. Major sort of manicured gardens in, in such a big scale. Um, it, let's, I guess, let's go for a little bit of a tour and see. Uh, so this is the first one. Um, as, I, as I said, I was going with sort of more like a mud packed sort of ground. I still think it needs sort of dirtying up around the edges. Um, maybe a little bit of something. I'm not sure. I. It's a bit hard to tell exactly what it is that it needs at this point, but we're getting there, you know, like these, these beautiful gardens that go up and around. They don't look like a great deal from here. When we step up into, into any sort of angle or anything, this one here was a mistake. Um, I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, so when you head up into this sort of view, now you really get a, a, a grasp on it and and even more so from here. So we went with those circular designs and just putting in the flowers and things like that. I've hidden some, some torches and things underneath some of the garden to try and give it some light. We've got these little uh, areas here, the little, ouch, painful sitting areas with upside down stairs why would i have gone with upside down stairs i look i don't always think i think more about the like the appearance than the practicality of it what about if we yeah like like that <laughs> that, that makes infinitely more sense to me <laughs> Why would I have... I don't know why I would have done it. It didn't even look that good that way anyway. It just showed a whole lot of grass and things underneath. All right, well, let's fix these up. <laughs> so I've gone with these uh, these stairs here <laughs> to, to appear as though it's uh, chairs. Yeah, 
in the middle of little gardens that you can have a sit down and things like that. I did exactly what I said and I shortened it by one um, all the way across so it would be an odd number and, and fit a little bit more evenly. Um, I really like this area. I think this is starting to look good and I, I can see some things sort of developing from here. Um, let's talk about this one here. So I had originally had this one up a level, much like uh, that one over there is, but it really felt like it needed to be down and I might yet uh, pull it down one more level and I think I think I might do that pull it all down and, and sort of put it all down on ground level because it will look a lot better and then once we dirty the path up a little bit maybe give some more sort of direct lighting like these sorts of lights and things like that around I think it'll look really good but looking at at the palace with this little garden down here looks a lot better now maybe we even stretch this bit of mud out around this sort of area around a little bit more and do some more work in, in the gardens and things but I think as a start it, it's something it's quite a good experiment for me it's as I said something I've not done these sort of manicured garden sort of designs before um, I've, I mean I've done lots of gardens but nothing to this sort of degree and nothing to this sort of scale so yeah that, that was interesting now let's head over to this one over here and just have a look at what we've got. This one here, I, I ended up going with, um, so as I said, the cypress trees, I really, mm, you know, I'm so close to contemplating getting, um, getting some sort of mod or something that allows me to put all leaves from all biomes in any biome, because I really hate this thing of this dull, the dull jungle leaf and things like that, the, the dull grass and stuff even. But I don't want to mod, but but maybe I have to to try and get what, what I want out of it. Uh, just hang on a sec, I'm going to sleep and I will be right back. Ah, so much better. I You'll notice I haven't done things like fix up all these bits here and stuff like that. I, um, so, so here's a little discussion to have maybe um so i'm trying to do this you know when craftworks when i have an episode ready i put out an episode of craftworks at the moment there's so much going over there on over there because it's all new and and sort of you know new members and and lots of big things going on um, and and trying to keep people entertained and things like that over there as well not saying that that's my job but something that I want to do more of um, I think that it becomes a situation where where obviously I'm producing twice as much content every week my concern is that it becomes half the quality and and I don't want it to do that but I am feeling the sort of um, feeling the workload a little bit and and sort of having to get in and smash things out in an ugly way um, to try and get an episode out so so we're gonna have a bit of a think about that at the moment and and see where we go I, I think it's still manageable I just need to manage my time a little bit better but anyway that's just a thought process of, of what I'm going through at the moment um, yeah, I went with these cypress trees, and as I was saying, I really wish that you could control what the leaves are. Like, I love this version of the, um, or this version over here of the jungle leaves, but I hate this version of it. It just looks so bland and boring. So even over here, you know, with these beautiful big cypress trees, and here you've got these changes in biome, and I guess maybe it's up to maybe it's up to me to not build in cross biome places like this where i think it's actually officially classed as a river right here um and then and then sort of back here it's plains um so so maybe not building on those places so that i don't get those crosses eh, maybe maybe that is something that i need to do and, and focus more on um anyway but yeah, so we have the cypress trees have come back in a much smaller scale and not quite as manicured as these ones here are. Um, 
and gone with little gardens bringing this design of the iron back in from over here even though here I didn't really have the um, the gardens on there and then the gazebo which I think came out a real treat um, it I wanted to use these copper grates I want to use them more and I have a, a, a few of the box of the um, waxed ones sort of saved up and things like that I also wanted to use these lights the um, the copper uh, bulb lights I really love them and I think they make a great accent to a building they don't have to appear really like a light source but but they sort of you know they are most definitely so yeah I, I really like this little gazebo it's it's cool it's very hard from any perspective of any direction I go to get a clean sort of shot at it right because here you've got all of that copper in the background over there um, over here you've got the dirt and things like that I seem to be going through this sort of thing a lot I need to work on my backgrounds um, and and work on how to get them cleaner but um, but really love really love this design it's got as I said the copper grates up the top there that are all waxed it's got lots of diorite unsure still about this little birch part but I wanted to bring in some lighter timber around there rather than going with the dark oak everywhere um, that could still potentially change a little bit um, but I think I think it has a real feel to it um, and and I think it looks great. I think it really accents the thing, the, the palace. And, and as I said before, it's a shame to have this beautiful area and to have not done the things that I said I was going to do. So bringing these in is really good. And this garden here just looks spectacular. Um, so I've worked out what part of my problem is with these gardens. And that is that, so I'm a messy builder. Right when I when I build generally, so let's let's take a look at an example at an example. Um, I, I've always said that the polar opposites. Oh, my poor little fox is still stuck over there. My brain is still. I can't focus on one thing at a time. So when we look at this, right, I do these. Um, I do these sort of messy, the messy vines and the messy texturing and shading and things like that to to give it to give myself some grace I guess that's if we're being completely honest when when I do what I do so when I have a a structure that's simple and clean like this to me it just looks so out of place because I prefer to have a bit of mess in in with what I'm doing right even if it's just the laying down of the stuff around the build and things like that I like I like the mess I'm a messy person <laughs> anyone who knows me in real life will uh, will speak to that and hopefully none of you will speak to that <laughs> but so so where I find gardens difficult is with this initially as I was doing it what I wanted was these clean layers of garden ow that was silly um, so we would have a row a perfect row of these double double height roses for instance um, along the along the front there and then behind it I wanted you know the, the lilacs coming in behind that and then a row of the peachy colored tulips and then something white in between and then blue right right you get the idea I'm just telling you what's exactly under my feet except for it's not exactly what's under my feet because when you look at it like from above even when you place things perfectly which which the front part of this is right I've done all of the rose the double rose bushes in the right place and all of the lilacs in the right place um, and and these are sort of in the right place little groups of two and things like that but when you do that because the flowers in Minecraft aren't symmetrical and don't place in the center of the block always you end up with this mess that you can't control and I find that very hard to to let go of because what I want actually here is perfect symmetry um, 
And I want that here and here and here. Like I want all of these things to look perfect symmetry. And then I thought about it a little bit as I was doing it. And I thought, yeah, but Zinc, when you're, when you're out looking at, at gardens, if you go to a place like here in, well, in Australia or in near Sydney and things like that, um, numerous places that have botanical gardens or gardens of flowers and things, they're never that symmetrical. They're never perfect. And maybe that's what Minecraft is going for. Maybe that's what Mojang were going for originally. This idea of gardens don't place perfectly like I want them to. The flower doesn't grow dead center of the block every single time. Sometimes it grows off center. Um, so what I ended up doing was just spamming the color stripes. So just trying to get myself a stripe of red, a stripe of purple, a stripe of orange, white, blue, red, like that. And then same with these, the different flowers. I mean, here I've gone out and placed one out there. But, you know, getting the, the pink to the purple to the, to the peach color and to the blue um, and doing the same thing over here, just spamming them down so that they've got a sort of look and once I managed to relax into that I really got into it a bit and sort of realized that it when you look at it like if you look at it from a distance here let's let's go up here let's try ooh, I've gone way too high and way too far let me come back ow oh. yes perfect so yeah what I'm saying it, so when you look at it from a distance it does look really impressive. It does look really symmetrical. And I need to line that up. Yeah, so it does have all of that to it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that even though I can't control the close-up view of these gardens and, and the, the where the flowers are actually placed in the blocks, I can control the general color scheme of the area. And that's what makes it look impressive. So I need to do more of that when I'm doing gardens and things. I'm also going to hopefully spend some time with Millie this weekend and being that she's one of my favorite people and one of the best builders that I know, I hope that I can get some sort of tips and ideas from her, some more ideas from her. Uh, let's head, let's head back down here. No, not down there. Let's go around, where will we go? Oh, over here, over next to this little pitiful little garden <laughs> comparatively. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, look at this area is just starting to look so good. Effendale over there in the corner, um, with, with potential peak and everything. And then we've got the palace over here. We've got the original part of Effendale over here. Once I can blend that in across this way a little more and then have these gardens sort of meet up somewhere or spread a bit more and then a little bit more there and, and sort of then I can start to take over this whole area and, really get into it i've got some really big plans for over there like probably the biggest build i've ever built and when i say really big plans i have a thing in my head this tiny little thing <laughs> a little seed that has been planted of an idea but we'll get into um guys as i plant head first into the gardens let me say thank you so much for joining me you know i love you guys so much I appreciate all of the support you're giving me in this channel and all of the support that everyone's giving to the Craftworks people. If you check out last week's episode, you'll notice there is a link to everyone's channel and to our public Discord on there. Please go and check all of that out and come and talk to us. And, and we're really approachable and really friendly sort of people. Um, and we love having, having people to talk to. And while we ignore this grass block that I've just brought my brought to your attention i'm gonna say have a great week guys i love you all to death thank you so much for joining me and i will see you midweek for another craftworks episode thanks guys have a great week and i will see you later okay bye bye bye